Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. Okay, so what we're gonna do, well, I'm gonna try to get as comfortable as I can. I guess that whole like thing's not really gonna work out for me. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get a uh, different read for you guys with these cards, okay? Because I was drawn to this deck today. So let's see what we can get. I'm definitely feeling you guys' energy, okay? I, I guess the most, the best thing I can say is just big breaths, okay? Um, if for some reason you think you should do this, you think you should do that, well, that is your sign, okay? So if you're telling yourself, I think I should take that job, then take the job. I think I should make a phone call. Then make the phone call. That that type of stuff, all right? Um, hold on. Okay. So it, it's that type. It's that type of energy, guys. I, I know. I know it's heavy. I know what you guys are going through. Um, the beautiful thing about it all is you're going to survive it. <laughs> you're probably like, thanks, Claude. Thanks a bunch. It's all good, guys. It's all good. You went through weeks of completions and new beginnings and adjusting the energy. And sometimes you just have to accept things. And it's tough. I get it. Okay. But... Look at the bright side of things, you know? Um, that kind of stuff. So, let's see what I can get for you, my little love buggies, okay? It's going to get better. I promise. And the new will become easier, okay? It, it's Trust me, it takes some time to adjust. I had to attach a Dutch, a Dutch, adjust to the new, just like you guys, okay? It's not easy. It's not easy. What's, what's that commercial? It's not easy to something, something. I don't know, something like that, okay? <laughs> the tower. <laughs> I told you, it's not easy. So, for instance, it's like a tower moment, okay? But then you got to step out of the tower moment, ladies and gents. You can't sit in it for too long. That's one thing I learned. I love that I learned to snap out of things so quickly. And not for every scenario. I haven't seen this yet. It's whoa. It's, um, complicated. <laughs> I know, you guys would probably hate me right now. But for realsies, like, complicated is an understatement. I mean, this is your head right now. It's like a maze. It's like, what are you? You know, like, I, are you the scientist or are you the mouse? You know, so it's like... Oh, it's a lot. There's a lot there, okay? Um... Doors opening, doors shutting. It's all that, you know. But I see these beautiful flowers. And in all reality, I've never seen flowers in a tower. You know? So it's not... It's not bad. It's just complicated. You know what I mean, jelly beans? I kind of had a little bit of a tower moment like that today. But... Like, didn't last long, you know? What a beautiful night of cups. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm laughing, okay? Because it is... I'm just laughing. Um, <laughs> the universe is laughing at me right now. And I know you guys are, too. But here comes... Here comes your tower moment, okay? So, 
This is a deliverer of a message. You know, it's usually a new person, a new love, going through a new gate. It's something like that, all right? But it's looking back. So it's like your love life right now is is like this. Like, which one are you? Are you the scientist or are you the mouse? Are you the magician or are you the fool? You know what I'm saying? Like, so complicated is an understatement. Um, I don't know if some of you guys reached out over the last couple days or you're thinking about reaching out, but it's going to cause a mini tower moment, okay? Um, they're like, yeah, of course, is there such thing as a mini tower moment? Yeah, there is. It's right here. It's just a little mini one, okay? It's just a little, it's a little bump in the road. Um, but... <laughs> I think this is someone saying goodbye to their towel moment. Like, in a good way, though. Like, hey, I tried, you know. Adios. Adios, amigo. I don't know. Look at the blue, though. Look at the blue. It's calming. It's, it's healing energy is what that is, you know. So... Say this is something new coming in. Say goodbye to the past. Don't let don't let that past get the best of you. Okay. <laughs> Queen of Cups. This woman, if you're the feminine energy, you put your hat on the line again. I don't know if this person's ready to say goodbye to the past. Like, this person, if you put your hat on the line again, like, you still got a dweller. You still got someone who's wallowing. But that's universal. Okay? That person's not going to have a choice but to walk towards that that void, walk through that void, and write to that person. See what I'm saying? So it's only a matter of time. So I guess if you keep putting yourself in that situation, just kind of like take a step back. Even if you're trying to do the right thing, you just got to take a step back. What else? So to a pence. This is a connection. That needs to be mended. Okay. Um, this is something that already ended. What is it breaking down to a nine? Yeah, it's breaking down to a nine. So, yeah, it's something. It's something that ended, okay, but it also is something where there's love here and there's there's faith and there's an awakening, okay. This is also karma. Um, you know, with these two cups, you know, because with the nines, it's charming too, okay. So it's like charming energy, but it's like generous energy, creative energy, sophisticated energy, you know. It, it's like... You got beautiful energy, but somebody's not saying goodbye to the tower. To me, it's, it could be a scorp, but I don't feel a third party here because this already talks about a bond. This already talks about a connection that's here that can grow. There is, it's like you just got to juggle up other aspects of your life to put this together. It's not juggling other people, Okay. Um, I believe that's, this is where that card was too in my last meeting with this deck. But regardless, it is something 
that can grow. It's not mumbo jumbo. It, it's not balancing all sorts of things. It, it try, no. It, it's working on what this is. It's like this person wants to go towards the queen, okay? But they can't, they don't know how to let go of this. It's like their mind is like a rat race right now. Whether this is you or the other person. It, it's, they don't know what door to walk through. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. It's that energy where I said earlier, do I take the job? Do I, do I not? Do I make that phone call? Do I not? Do I text that person? Do I not? Because right before I sat down here, that was the energy I felt. Like, that was a big message. If you're telling yourself, should I do this? Yes, you should. That's already your message. You know, but you don't know what door to open. You don't know how to go about it. Nothing can be done. Okay? So, let's find out about this tower. Tell me about the tower. But this is a new opportunity. And, and to me, it's, it's, it's something that can be mended and it's something that can grow together. I mean, that two of pens so far is my favorite card in this whole deck. Because it, it, it talks about the two of you balancing out other aspects of your life, but doing it together. Tower, tower, tower. The tower, the tower. Are we recording? Oh, thank goodness. And it was just 11.44. Gosh, those have been coming to me left and right. Left and right. Up and down, left and right. Spiritual meaning of 1144. It talks about a fresh start and a new opportunity. The number one resonates with fresh starts and new opportunities. It symbolizes ambition and determination. So, like I said, opportunity for a new start, opportunity to mend something. There's no, there's no ambition here, though. This person does not have any ambition. I don't know what that's all about. That person, I guarantee, has ambition. Because that one's just chilling. Chilling, trying, doing something. I don't know who's who. All I know, like I said, something needs to be mended. Tell me about this tower. I don't know why it doesn't want to tell me about this tower. I guess maybe it's telling me before somebody comes in and goes through that gate, they need to let go of whatever's in the past. But they're still not, they still don't know how. They don't know how, they don't, should I call, should I not call? What door, what door do I shut? What door do I open? That was way too many. You know, so it's still that type of scenario. And this one, I don't know if she's just waiting. Maybe they just don't want to tell me about the tower. All right, tell me about the Queen of Cups. What's up with this Queen of Cups? Because, yeah, see, they don't want to tell me about the tower. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, the Eight of Cups. Son of a bitch. And it's the same It's the same one from before. This is a huge message. It's, it's like I can't even escape it. This is why I was laughing in the beginning of the read. Because I can't... It doesn't even matter. Alright, here we go again. Alright, this is talking about that connection. Whomever that person was coming out before in the read wants this person to walk towards their happy. And to leave this behind. This is what this is saying. It's the same card again. So either your mother is telling you to, to go through that gate, go through that door, leave this mumbo jumbo behind, if that's a mother figure. It's a female figure in your life, whether it's a grandparent, a mother, a lover, whomever passed over, is telling you, let it go. Let this go, whatever this is. This, you have to let it go. That's why they're not telling me about the tower, because apparently it's none of your business. And apparently it's none of my business. It's between them. Okay. So. Well, this person walked away. But I, I think it's linked. It's linked. 
they're in the same exact position and they didn't want to tell me what the Tawa moment was because it's their connection. Whomever passed away, this is their connection. It, it has to do with them. It has nothing to do with you. Okay? So it's not going to tell me. It's not going to tell me what this Tawa is about. So again, it's another message for that group from a female, seems to be a female presence. Okay? Look at that purple. But, so there's that connection that somebody wanted you to go towards. I, I don't know, maybe my, my other reading wasn't clear enough, you know? I thought it was it was clear enough, but here we go again, round two. All right, round two. And they're not going to tell you about this. And the King of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So, and he was in my reads earlier today. Oh. <sighs> Whatever this person, this person wants you to leave this behind. Whatever this is, there is something that is bothering you. Let it go. Walk away from it. Walk away from your past. Walk through that door. Go mend what needs to be mended. Tell me about this two of pence. What came out afterwards? Oh, it was the magician because the message was to pretty much go create. Go create something. Chances are... It is something you probably manifested anyway. So it's just kind of like go create. Go create something new and, and leave this in the past. Whatever this is. They're not going to tell us about it. Because you already know. That's too many. Two of pence. Two of pence. This is the mending of something. The mending of this connection. And the thing is you're going towards somebody who has a hat of gold. They obviously wear that hat on their sleeve. I mean, it's right there for everybody to see. So. <sighs> Two of Pence. I really wanted to, um, not that the first reading wasn't beautiful, okay? But, but now it's different, and now I feel different things, and I feel different energies, and, and it's not up to me to even talk about this. But the fact that it just came out again is like, whoa. Okay, it's judgment. So it's going to be up to you or up to the two of you if you can forgive each other or forgive yourself. So, you're not forgiving yourself when it comes to your connection with this, this person who crossed over either. So I don't know what that's about. Again, it's between the two of you. But it's kind of like... Don't be harsh on yourself. Don't pass judgment. Don't worry if somebody else is going to pass judgment on you. This is forgiving. Forgive, you know, it's, it's forgiving. It's celebrating. It's having a new life. Letting go of the dark. Welcoming in the light. Mom. It's, it's, yeah. Can I have $5 for my game? Yeah. So it's like... This judgment is is forgiving. It's you need someone needs to forgive someone, whether it's linked to the crossover or it's linked to the connection. It's, it's clear as day. It's right here on the board. Tell me about judgment. Um, it, it just talks about forgiving. You know. You, I think what this is, is you got a, you got a lot of family on the other side. And it's kind of like the same thing. It's like, they got you. You're being watched over. Like, I don't know. I just know it's between the two of you. And, <sighs> tell me about judgment. I don't know if you're worried this person's going to pass judgment. You're going to pass judgment. Or if you're worried about... This person who crossed over passing judgment on you. It's the Eight of Pentacles. So if that's advice, what they're saying is is go. Go in 
even out the scales. Go and start something new. Go go and try. You know, um, pack your bags and go. I don't know what that's about, but that's the message. Pack your bags and go. I think, I think this right here. You're worried that somebody who's deceased is gonna pass judgment on you, and or because this is usually work related too. So if it's linked to spirituality, what they're saying is they're not gonna pass judgment on you. Like, if anything, they understand what's happening now. See, this is getting deep. I didn't want to go. I didn't want to do this, all right, because they don't want me to talk about this. So you're worried that this person who passed away might pass judgment on you. And it has to do with your future and your career, too. But they're saying, stop. No one's passing judgment. Pack your bags and go. I don't know. I don't know what that means. If you plan on taking a vacation, if you plan on taking a new job, take the new job. They're saying take it. Whatever this connection is they have with somebody, I don't know if a parent, a grandparent, somebody didn't like them at one point. It's something like that. So I don't know if now if this person right here is worried about stepping in because if they worry, are, are you worried that the deceased is, is going to judge you? Because if that's the case, they're saying no. Pack your bags and go. Leave all this shit behind. They're not going to talk about this with us. I don't know what that's all about, but they're not. Okay. Um, it's a tough one again. Maybe I should have went further into the last one. You know, but I feel like I'm intruding. I just do. I, it feels intrusive. So, either this person that you're going to, you think they're going to pass judgment on you or you think they might not forgive you. I don't know the scenario. Seeing that, what I think it is, is you think this person that passed over is going to pass judgment on you. And I, I think it has to do with a new start in career too. And your path, where you go. Because I'm feeling spiritual here, especially with the Eight of Pens. It's like, go mend this connection and go work together. It's something like that. Eight of Pens. Tell me about the Eight of Pens. Just so I can clarify to make sure that's work. Or, or it's saying, this whole family that's deceased, it got your back. They they want it to all work out. It's the Seven of Pens. Yeah, go invest, go invest time. What do you want to invest in? Basically, they're saying, go invest in whatever it is you want to go invest in and stop worrying about what they think because it's, that's not what that's about. That's what that message is, okay? Stop worrying about what they're going to think of you. They, they know whatever this is. Look at this beauty. They know whatever this is. You can't really go wrong. So... I hope that helps. Let me see if there's any other messages. I'm pretty sure that that's it, you know? I guess I had to go a little further last time, and I, and I didn't. I let it go. <clears throat> it's the Ace of Wands. Go, go have fun. Go have a brand new stat. Look how beautiful this is. It's like an awakening. Look at the beauty in this card. That's what they want for you. Go have this new start. Let this go. Whatever this is that they don't want to talk about right now, you know, they know, you both know, whomever this is. And the deceased, the overall message, go have this beautiful new start. It's an awful lot of red here. It's a lot of beauty in this one card. I think somebody, um, this reminds me of, um, what's that Christmas, not a, cr a Christmas cactus, uh, um, what is that flower around Christmas time, that plant, cats, hold on, cats are allergic to them, like they're poisonous, 
What's that holiday plant? That's what, I don't know if that's somebody's favorite plant. It's the leaves, and the leaves don't really look like that. It's, um, son of a gun, what is that? It's a Christmas plant. It's not a Christmas, Christmas cactus. It's, oh, what is it? What is that popular plant that comes out around Christmas time? Oh, poinsettia. I think that's it. It's not popping up. Ooh, this is it. This is it. This is it. What is this? This is it. Hold on. It's trying to pop up. I don't know why it's taking so long. It might be a poinsettia. It's taken forever. Can I have $2? For what? Are you serious? I just gave you five. Yeah, I know, but I needed to buy one thing. Yeah, and then don't ask again. Okay. Alright, so that's the Christmas cactus. That's not it. Okay, but this... My ma has those. But this is it. But they're not saying what it is. That's so weird. Um... That is so weird, a holly poinsettia. It's originated in Mexico. It's funny because this is not a poinsettia. That's some type of lily, okay? But I got a poinsettia out of that because that, that's what that is to me. So I don't know if somebody in your family was huge on poinsettias. So I don't know. Is there a spiritual meaning for a poinsettia? A spiritual meaning for a poinsettia? It's said that poinsettia's association with Christmas comes from a Mexican legend. The story goes that a child, with no means for a grander gift, gathered humble weeds from the side of the road to place at the church altar on Christmas Eve. So go. What that's saying to me is go give yourself to the go give yourself to the world. Go give yourself to this person. And I just got the goosebumps. It, it's more psychic chills. Okay, so. I hope this clears up this message because that is a beautiful, beautiful message. Go give yourself. Go, And if you're going to give yourself, go give your all and have a beautiful brand new start. Nobody's judging you. Go invest time where you want to invest time. Don't worry about the deceased judging you. What they want is your happiness. They're telling you to go. So whether you want a new job, whether you want this connection or not, go. This, there's something in that plant. It's the color. There's something here that is going to give you your message without me even having to look that up. That's how strong it is. This connection you have with this person. There's something about this picture. So, I love you guys. Whatever this is, it is going to grow. It is basically like, go, go give it your all. What do you have to lose? What are you contemplating? You know, they're, what they're basically saying is stop worrying about what they're going to think. What anybody is going to think. All they want for you is your happiness. That is it. That's all they want is your happy. They just want you to be happy. And you know what this is. Because it's the same thing as before. We just went a little deeper. Let's see if I can get one more message from you. And Do you have any more messages for this group? Any more messages for this group? the night of pens you know go deliver a message go go start something new there's that bag I, I don't know what that means with that other one too I don't know what that message is pack your bags and go I, I don't know what that's all about but basically get on your horse go go so see how see how you're looking this way they're saying stop go in the opposite direction Go. Go start something solid. Go start something new. Even if it takes time. Go. That is a big message. 
they want you to have this this new this new opportunity they want you to go in this direction go go start something new something solid whatever this is you leave they don't they don't even want me to talk about this but clearly you know what that is in order for you to have this new start you gotta go they don't want you looking this way no more they want you going that way all right go pack your bag I don't know what that's about go pack your bag go even if that's not another person I truly feel like that's another connection but if it's not it's another job go towards it don't worry about what your family on the other side thinks they want what's best for you. They want you to invest time where you want to invest time. Bottom line. It's almost like they're not saying they were naive about anything. It's just, it's, it's some type of message like that. It, it has to do with conditioning, I guess. Culture. You know? But go deliver, go deliver a message. Whatever that message is. It, it's like in the beginning when I said, should I call? Should I not? Well, if you're saying should I, then yeah, you should. That is your message. Whatever this is, though, you, this, you're going to pick up something in this card. It is a beautiful card. I don't even know how I got a poinsettia out of that. I guess, I don't know. And to top it off, it is, it's a Mexican thing. And, and this is kind of like a Mexican, Spanish, whatever, deck. You know, so, um, uh, it's a tough one, guys, but they want you to go in that direction. They don't, they want you to leave whatever this is in the past, let it go, and go have a brand new start. Do you have a message for these two cards? Do you have a message for these two cards? I don't know if they're going to give it to me. Best advice for these two cards. Any advice for these two cards? I, I don't think there is, okay? Because they weren't going to give it to me before. I don't know why they would give it to me now. So, I was hoping maybe they had some advice. But if you ask me... And like I already said it, I, I truly feel like you already know what that's about anyway. So that's it, okay? So I, I really hope that, um, yeah, that's it. That's a wrap, okay? Go, go in the other direction. Whatever this is, let it go. Okay? Go that way. That's, that's what they're telling you to do. To me, that's either a mother or a lover. I think you're worried that this person's going to pass judgment on you. I'm, I'm not really sure, but it's all placed it's all placed where the other one was. Okay, they, they want you to go to explore new avenues. They want you to invest your time where you, need, where you want to invest it. They want you to have this brand new start, this Ace of Wands, a new adventure. Oh, yeah, that, wasn't that your advice before, too? It was because it was the it was the page of wands going on that new adventure with something. Okay, go create, go create a brand new life for you, and, and have fun. Take your time. Go with the flow. Whatever you deliver, just give it your best. Is what it is, you know. Just give it your best, and it can grow and become solid. Because. That means if you're the Knight of Pence, you're going to become the King of Pence. And the King of Pence is solid. They deserve it. They earned it. Just be trustworthy and, you know, gosh, I really hope you got any other messages that you really needed from this. I truly do. Okay, please let this go. Go in the other direction. Go have that brand new start. Go create what they they want you to create go create a brand new world something about it it's a brand new you it's your time to be a brand new you i don't know pack your bags if you're wondering that's a message for you i don't know what that means it just means pack your bags
I don't know if you wear something of theirs near your heart, a chain, a piece of jewelry, or if they did and you have it. I don't know if you hold it in your palm. I, I don't know what you do. So I, I don't really know. I don't know what that really means. Pack your bags. I guess go on a new adventure. <clears throat> Wow, I just got lost in this. Wow, okay. <sighs> so just got lost in that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. The time. When I said it was time. That's what it was. It was the, it was the, um, the Nine of Pence with the, the ace, no, the, what was it, the page of wands, and now it's the king of wands, it's just, it's just time, and it's funny, because that card that slid off earlier was the time card, too, it's just, it's just time, but don't, don't be in a rush, they're not rushing you, they want you to go in solid, independent, liberated, feeling free, they know it's going to be tough. You're coming out of a battle. I mean, you're riding a skeleton. You know, but you got what it takes to have a brand new you. Whatever that means, go be a brand new you. A brand new world. No, it's like a Disney movie. I don't know. But this person on the other side... I will tell you, it is happy. The whole family is watching over you. Okay. The whole family. You must have, like, a lot of loved ones. They, they, they no one's going to pass judgment on you. They just want you to be happy. If you, you're going to choose a new career, a new, a new lifestyle, a brand new you, then you do it, and you be proud of who you are. And you have a blast. And this is a message for you. I, I don't know what that is. All I know is that this is a strong message for you. Whether it's just taking that new opportunity to have the new start. You know. I don't know. Maybe red was their favorite color. I, that plant is associated with it. I'm not sure. But that's. I don't know. Maybe you want to screenshot that. There's something in this card for you. I hope this helps. Whatever this is between between the two of you. Okay. They just don't go that way no more. You go that way. You go that way. <laughs> Alright? Don't don't make Mama Koi step into the picture. You gotta go in the other direction. You gotta leave this you gotta leave it be. It's time for you to move forward. They're with you every step of the way. They they see the beauty in something now that I don't think they saw the beauty in. I don't know. However you want to take this card, but it's a it, it talks about beauty and flowers. Remember a read I did a long time ago? About like a an orchid or something. I'm starting to think it might be linked. I don't know though. This card makes me smile though. It's a happy card. Happy, happy. So this is your overall message. Leave this, leave this, whatever this is, leave it, and go towards this. And when you do that, it's going to create this. This person's not sad anymore. They're not, they're not in pain anymore. It, it, they see things differently. This is just, 
This is it, okay? I'm done reading this scenario. It is personal. It's for a certain group out there, okay? So I truly, truly hope that this helped. I love you guys a whole bunch. Have a fantastic, fantastic night. And to be honest with you, I, I wanna I was just about to talk in Spanish and I don't know how to talk in Spanish. So and it's not because of the deck. I, I think it's just linked to a, some type of Spanish culture. Because I just wanted to say something. I don't know how you say good night or all will be well. Something about tomorrow being a beautiful day. It's something like that. It is something, it was a saying that's normally said bef like when you guys would talk last. Something that they would normally say to you, but they would say it in Spanish. And you know exactly what that is. Because it's, it's one of those things where you'd hang up the phone or before you go to bed or like... I feel like they even said it on their deathbed. And I'm sorry. I'm going to go now before I get emotional, okay? I, I just, I don't know how to talk Spanish, so that, that, that's for you, okay? I don't know. Go create. This person will always be with you. And I almost said an always with you. Like I was in church. <sighs> this person was religious. I love you guys. Have a great night. Bye.